This is Tom Robleski, the senior opinion writer for the Staten Island Advance. We are down in Huguenot. We're near the Huguenot uh, Staten Island Railway Station. We're going to talk about one of Staten Island's favorite topics. We're going to talk about parking. We're here. There's a municipal lot right over here next to me. There's another lot across the street. And this is uh, Drum Pool Road East. We're talking about commuter parking. We're talking about New Jersey drivers coming over the bridge taking up parking spots in these lots, taking spots away from Staten Island and New York drivers. Uh, me and uh, photographer Bill Lyons, a couple of minutes ago, we walked down Drumgool Road East, we checked out license plates. I was here recently. There were 49 cars parked along Drumgool Road East. 39 of them had New Jersey plates. I was in this other lot across the street. Uh, there were about 80 cars from New Jersey, New Jersey plates parked over there, another two dozen in this lot here. And here's the thing, if you've been watching the news lately, you know that city officials in Leonia, New Jersey, and in Perth Amboy, they've been getting very upset. Staten Island drivers, New York drivers, cutting through their residential streets to avoid traffic on their way to the George Washington Bridge, on their way to the Outer Bridge Crossing. They don't want it, so they put police cars blocking the exit lanes, and in Leonia, they want to charge you a couple of hundred dollars if you're a non-resident using the streets. But meanwhile, New Jersey drivers are perfectly free and clear to come over here to use the uh, parking spots paid for with our tax dollars, infrastructure with our... They're not even getting charged. And it's not like they're driving through here and coming and going like we do when we're driving through New Jersey. They're coming here, they're staying, they're parking here all day. We also, we are neighborhood resident from some of the streets uh, across Huguenot Avenue, Jersey drivers parking on those streets, staying there all day, and you know how people are defensive about their street parking on Staten Island. And meanwhile, this is taken up all day long by commuters from another state. I mean, you know if you go to New Jersey, if you go to the beaches or you, you know, use any areas, you know that there's resident prices for parking and there's also non-resident prices for parking, and you know you're gonna pay a lot. Meanwhile, they're coming in, they're not even paying. Because what they're doing is they're coming, they're taking the express bus, we're standing in an express bus stop, they take the X-17 or the X-19, they go to their jobs, I'm told they take Staten Island Railway home from Huguenot, they get back in their cars and they go. And listen, it's fine, but if you want to come here and park, then those city officials in other states, they shouldn't prevent us from going on, on their streets as well. It's not fair and it really should stop. Anyway, this is Tom Robleski from the Staten Island Advance.